All right, today on the channel, we're gonna be doing something a little bit differently. We're gonna be making smash burgers. I got inspired over the weekend. I'm gonna break down everything. All the measurements, ingredients are gonna be right down below in the description. Follow along, and then I'm gonna show you some good sexy shots, close-ups on the food, and uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the burger sauce. This adds a perfect layer right above the bottom bun that adds a little sweetness to your savory bite. For the burger sauce, we're gonna mix together one half cup of mayo, one quarter cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of sweet relish, one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of white vinegar. Mix together real well. This is a killer sauce. Now place it in the fridge until we're ready to top. Next, we're gonna put together the seasoning. This blend consists of two teaspoons of kosher salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. I find this to be the perfect blend for cooking on a hot iron skillet. It gives the burger a nice crust and also adds that punching flavor. As far as the other toppings go, I will be using a fresh tomato, sliced from the bottom up with a serrated bread knife. This will help get nice clean cuts and it will help from piercing the tomato juices from getting everywhere. Grab yourself some fresh romaine lettuce. This is a pre-packaged lettuce I got at my local H-E-B. Moving on to the yellow onion. This is gonna be the key star of the dish. This is what's really gonna add and elevate the flavors. We're gonna take this yellow onion and we're gonna shred it down with a cheese grater. Once you got about a cup full, set that in the fridge until we start cooking. Nothing much to say here, but classic slices of American cheese. Okay, when I mentioned we were gonna be doing something different for this video, this is what I'm talking about. We're gonna be using premium Texas Wagyu ground beef, sourced from a local farm. This beef I purchased in my local HEB. It's 80-20 mixed with ground chuck, ground beef, and skirt steak. Each burger patty will be roughly two ounces of ground beef. This is what's really gonna elevate the smash burger and take it from level one to level 10 real quick. Lastly, what's holding together all these amazing ingredients are the potato buns. These potato rolls are nice and squishy and soft, and they will be holding in all those juices dripping off that Wagyu meat. All right, let's begin the cook. Place your two ounce ball of meat directly on a hot iron skillet. Make sure the skillet is piping hot and smash that meat to hell. Top with our burger seasoning blend, and right away, toss that grated onion on top. Let that cook down about a minute, a minute and a half, and flip. This process will cook the onions through the meat and give it that explosive flavor. Add your classic slice of American cheese and enjoy this piece of art you just put together. If you want, you can throw another burger on there and make it a double. Before we start layering this burger, toast your potato buns on the hot skillet for roughly around 15 seconds. Now we're ready to plate. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your notifications on for more videos. See y'all later. Try this thing out. It's so juicy. The shaved onions at the bottom, it's crazy. The flavor's just like, I guess when it cooked, the flavor's just like cooked through the burger. You can taste it even on top where the cheese is. Oh my God. And that crunch from the lettuce is perfect. Tomato, you can taste like the juice from the tomato too, just sinking through the lettuce, like you're eating a salad and you're eating a burger at the same time. And then I'm telling you, the icing on the cake is that secret sauce at the bottom. Oh my God.
Ja. Thank mm -hmm. you. 